Hi, Dan. Yeah, if you want me to go through and, you know, I'll just charge you for the time and it won't take too long per page to go through and sort it out. But basically, it just looks like, you, yeah, you definitely have different formatting for different sections. And it would make sense if you want to do something like this, that's called a P lead, right, from the Bootstrap framework. It's a, it's a lead class. And where you, you can get a lot of this information from is actually Bootstrap, um, just in case you're wondering when it comes to formatting of text, which may or may not be uh, information you already have. But on the Bootstrap site, if you go to typography, there's a lot of sort of these this stuff in here. And this is just the basic stuff that uh, <coughs> we'll use a lot of this sort of stuff right here. Um, like there's your body copy. There's an example here. This is lead copy. Here's an example here. So if you want something a little bit larger, use a class of P lead, things like that. Um, but yeah, if you want to, um, you know, that's a H4 tag or whatever you want it to be, H3 or H4, H2, okay? All right, so we've got a P style followed by an H2, followed by an H4, followed by an H4. Yeah, these should all be P tags um, uh, so they display properly. The thing is with uh, all marketing, and obviously which you're probably aware of already, is... Um, let me just see if I could copy this into a site and explain it better. Here's an example. You can sort of click on a piece of text somewhere and your class and your format will show up down here. You can actually usually, if it was an H4, right? So I've selected that. Now everything in here is in this whole area here, right? And you can sort of click down here to figure out that whole paragraph has been converted to an H4. Well, you could probably click in here, right? change something from a from an h4 if it already was as you see that click in here of course you can't see it. it's not showing my window right now but um go to the h4 tag here and then you could switch it back to a paragraph normally i would do that sort of stuff in the uh, most likely in the code view anyways just to make sure but you could just if you want to know how to do it yourself that's one way of doing it right but if you don't have the time you want me to whoop through there i can do that as well